Hi guys, Jared here with Day Traders FX. Hopefully you're having a great week. We've got some uh, interesting setups in the works. Let's have a look at them. Uh, U.S. markets are still kind of just uh, moving around a little bit. We've we've had a, another slightly positive day in the Dow, S&P. They're up just a little um, uh, after today's trading, but things in aftermarket hours have been actually moving pretty well. Looks like we've got some stops trip uh, on a couple of pairs. We're going to look at that. Um, Quickly, uh, some of the news we've seen today, MPC meeting minutes, uh, everything stayed pretty much status quo, a little bit of uh, push for more quantitative easing out of the UK. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Unemployment claims a little bit better than expected. Uh, coming into tomorrow, remember it's a US holiday, so we won't have a live trading session tomorrow or a daily video. But remember that on Thanksgiving Day, there can be some big movements in the currency markets. Um, and so just keep that in mind. Things could get pretty active. Uh, and we've got some decent news tomorrow, uh, some, some Euro news you can see there. We've got uh, uh, retail sales out of Canada. And then it's also, so it's a bank holiday for the U.S. and Japan. So things will be a little bit slow uh, tomorrow, Thursday, but uh, Friday things should pick up again. Okay, so what we've seen here is a little bit of uh, some stops have definitely been triggered. Uh, remember yesterday what we were looking for, uh, we had this nice little bad news out of, uh, out of Europe uh, on uh, the, the whole Greek uh, crisis and how that's getting resolved. And then things recovered very nicely. And they're right back up to this weekly pivot, which was a big target area that we were looking at. And we talked about this in the daily video yesterday. So now that we're back above this weekly pivot, now the stops are starting to get triggered and the moves are starting to happen to the upside. Now, here's the thing thing on the euro dollar uh, it's opening it's about to open above the 200 day moving average on the four hour chart which makes it pretty bullish um, but on the daily chart we're just coming into contact to the, with the, the 200 day moving average so it's going to be a little bit of a battle on which is going to go where uh, I'm definitely going to be watching the price action at the 200 day moving average remember our target yesterday was 128.50 and we just had a high here of about 128.60 uh, 60 768 right in there uh, so everything is uh, everything's running pretty nicely we're gonna have some more resistance up here around 128 80 85 area which is where we have weekly resistance and we have some lows here so it's gonna be a tough level uh, to get past and this could be a possible turning point so as far as the euro dollar goes right now I don't see anything really great to get into un uh, until and unless we get up to this uh, 128 uh, 80 area and we start to see some reversal patterns and some things that uh, that are signaling to us that it might be time to go uh, back down but remember on Thanksgiving we typically can have some pretty pretty big spikes on this euro dollar uh, and that is tomorrow so just keep an eye on that uh, our pound dollar trade, uh, we had a, a trade posted and an entry here to trade against. This was uh, uh, last night for the UK session, a trade against the lows of this reversal candle right here. And you can see that that has turned out like crazy. Uh, the pound dollar is rallying very nicely. Um, after much consolidation and choppiness, we had a little bit of an indecision point down here uh, where we were trying to find some bottoms, and it looks like we've got some. Uh, but the pound dollar is also coming into contact with a 200 day moving average, which is just below 160, about 159.80. Uh, and, and we're going to have some resistance there, so let's keep an eye on that. I don't see anything particularly great I want to get into on the pound dollar. This was our entry from earlier, which was a, a trade against that reversal to the upside. Uh, it's gone nicely, and now we're just kind of in this area of some slight wait and see so that's probably what I will be doing uh, but looking to see if we do get a little bit of a bounce and a little bit of reversal just below 160 uh, on the pound dollar so keep an eye on that um, euro yen never ceases to amaze uh, this thing you know when it looks like it can't get any higher it gets higher um, the euro yen is starting to break out we, we've had just the most amazing rally that I have probably ever seen and it's happened over a fairly short amount of time uh, it's up a big chunk of pips uh, and you can see on this weekly chart we are now breaking out very nicely breaking out of this weekly channel here uh, and this is telling me that the euro yen might just be getting started uh, one thing is that you'll notice uh, this pair has gotten very very strong and it's broken this big reversal candle right here on the weekly chart and that was at about 104.50 uh, and we're now above that. We're going to easily close above that, uh, about 150 or 60 pips above that, actually. Uh, so very nice little run there. This is all very, very bullish for the euro yen. Um, and as you can see, we're just, you know, we're just running like crazy, and this thing's really making a strong move. So, uh, so at this point, I think we've got some potential for, you know, a little bit of retracement and a continuation up. One thing I am keeping in mind, though, is we have, um, we have a couple of missed. 
uh, levels, uh, some missed pivots and so on. We have a missed weekly pivot right here, which is something that will attract uh, this pair to some degree, and it's now a couple hundred pips away from that. So this could take a couple of weeks to get back there, that's for sure, but uh, so far it's very, very strong and hanging in there. Again, I don't have a, a specific entry on this one just yet. I do like some retracement down towards about 105.30.40 area, our daily pivot, and the top of this trend line, uh, and the weekly pivot. So this is, this is definitely an area that I'm eyeing again about 105 30 40 uh, as a possible uh, uh, long and that's you know 70 80 pips away so we're a little bit out from any kind of uh, euro yen entry at this point uh, things are looking pretty bullish though and one thing that we can and should be able to get into fairly quickly nice reversal candle on this one hour chart or excuse me on the four hour chart on the Aussie dollar everything's looking pretty good we've still got this daily reversal candle uh, down here a uh, couple of uh, we, we, we've got a missed pivot down here as well around 103.25 uh, which which attracted the market to some degree, uh, it came shy of it by about 10 pips. But it looks like uh, it looks like we're gonna have a nice little run here. So I like getting long right here against these lows, about 30 pips away from these lows here, around 103.75, or excuse me, 103.35, uh, 40 area. Um, and I think we have a good opportunity to get long and trade this up into about the 104.20 area, which is just back into these highs right here. So that's that's what I'm going to be looking for. So I like the buy opportunity here. Uh, just you know, a little bit of retracement, maybe around 103.65.70 uh, would be a good area to start looking to to buy this pair up into these highs. Uh, but the Aussie dollar looks set up and ready to go. Nice reversal candles, nice breakout of this little uh, short-term channel that it's been in, and I think it's ready to rock and roll. So so Aussie dollar should be a good long coming up here very very shortly. Uh, gold's running nicely. Aussie yen, of course, not stopping either, making big runs into some of these upper areas. Uh, not too much of an entry on that one just yet. We'll have some more, you know, coming up tomorrow and the next day uh, on on those pairs. Um, and the yen pairs have just kind of continued to run nonstop. But I think I think our most real uh, immediate entry is going to be a few pips of retracement on the Aussie dollar and then buying this up uh, about 50 pips or so. So we should have a nice little run there. So I'm going to be looking for that. Uh, again, lots and lots of activity, lots of movement, uh, and we should see some, some bigger, crazier, more uh, exciting things happening as the... Um, as as we get into Thursday, Thanksgiving, you know, definitely some interesting movements can happen there. So keep your eyes on that. And best of luck, guys. If you have any questions, you can follow me on Twitter at uh, twitter.com forward slash daytradersfx. Thanks a bunch, everyone, and best of luck.